Hey, what's up guys, Richard here from World of VFX. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, you guys will learn how you can create this type of scene in Unreal Engine 5.4 using Niagara simulations. Let's get started. So guys, uh, as you can see right now, you're in Unreal and this scene is completely made with Niagara simulations. And make sure this is a basic course of this Niagara. If you want more, please do comment and consider subscribe to this channel to get more content like this. All right, so let's recreate this. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll just go to file, new level, and I'll just create a basic one, press create. So yeah, we have this, pressing control and space, dock layout. All right, so I have already created this under this ng folder, Niagara simulation. So let's create one new folder. Let's just click this and ng underscore dut for tutorial and double click. So now, first of all, you need to import our character. So just right click new folder and just name it to model, press enter. So now I have already downloaded the character from Mixamo. So once you download, simply drag and drop the character over here and you can see some pop up over here. Now, if you go down, you can find this material location. So you need to check this all assets. By default, maybe it will be local or under parent, but make sure you need to check this all assets. So this will basically search all the assets from your local drive and it will automatically reassign. So don't need to reassign the models, uh, textures manually. Now press import all and you can got this error, no issues, simply close this. So now we have something like this. So now, first of all, click here and click the static mesh to skeleton mesh. And now you can find one standing mill. Just simply drag and drop, press F. So now you get your character with the texture. Thank me later for this amazing tip. All right, so now we need to get the animations. For that, we need to get a new add level sequence and tutorials and just press save. After that, simply select the character, drag and drop this to here. And now simply click the animation button and you can find your male animation character. Simply select and you can find this animated character. So now just increase the time length to 500 and just increase the length. Now, if you notice the animations just stopped over here. Okay, so what you need to do, simply drag and release it. So if you notice this lines over here, this is basically the animation loop. So once you play, the animation start in loop. So no need to copy paste multiple times, just need to drag and the animation comes in a loop. All right, so now we have successfully created the character. Let's dive into the Niagara simulations. Go to Content Browser, go back to your Niagara folder and then right click, you can find this Niagara system. By the way, if you can't find this, first of all, go to Edit and then Plugins and you need to type Niagara and you can find this Niagara. You can simply turn this Niagara fluids Niagara. No need to turn on this Niagara example and all. After that, you need to restart your Unreal and after that, right click, you can find this Niagara system. Simply click and you can find this create empty system because we are starting right from the empty. Press finish and just double click. You can find some blueprint kind of a thing over here. Now, if you find this completely black, it means it's changed. Now, if you don't find this black, go to Windows and you can find this preview scene settings. Simply click and for default, it was like this. Make sure you need to turn off this environment and it will become black. Simply close this. Now we need to add the Niagara system. So by pressing tab, you can find this add emitter. And under this parent emitter, you can find this great 3D gas master emitter. Simply click and it will comes like this. Now, after computing, you can see a gas over here great now if you notice this is already looking pretty nice it's kind of a preset i don't know and after that simply close this drop down and if you notice the word here is called emitter summary so basically it's all the settings which unreal gives us like this now go back once you move somewhere here you can find out the gas looks pretty amazing now simply press save and for first time just need to press compile so that everything the settings will compile now let's close this and drag and drop this to here so that you can see the gas right in front of you now if you notice that also the character and the gas is not interacting so if i'll move it's just a normal normal process it's not interacting with the character so firstly select the character and increase the character size slightly so that you can exactly see what exactly happened so now once you play if you notice it's already started interacting so let's walk on the smoke first so make sure whatever you do simply stop this simulations or like stop this animation and then go to your content browser 
then open and then whatever you want to do because otherwise it start getting lagging too much so what do you need to change over here first of all let's click this emitter summary so you can increase the you know the wall size so let's increase this to 600 so that you get more space to uh, you know the character is starting like hand movements and also get more space after that, if you notice, it's going upwards. We need to do this in a downwards. So this is a local pivot. Let's make it to point minus five. And now it's getting in a minus. So if you play, you can't see anything because the source out of this box right now. So let's decrease the point to like 0.3. And now you can see the source is here. Now once you play, the smoke is going upwards. So let's make this to downwards. So let's select the density bouncy and let's make this to minus five to positive five. And boom, the smoke comes downwards. Okay, great. Now, if you want to increase the like intensity, so what you can do, simply increase the pressure solve to six to 16. And let's see how it's work. Great. Now this create a more good level of collision for your character. Also you can change the density 0.5 to 1 so it get more force it's just like this boom. Okay, but it's too high. Okay, I my mistake I made it to 11. Let's make it to only 1. So now if you notice, yep, the speed is pretty, pretty perfect. Okay, so this pressure solve irritations can create a more high density volume. If you make it to 2 only, you can see the smokes get more like smaller level of smoke but i want little puffy so i make it to 16 all right so let's see how it's exactly look like in your scene so go back make sure save it and let's close and once you close you can see the emitters like here simply select the niagara system and push it top of this so make sure the floor should touch over here so that it will collide with the floor and boom it's looking absolutely perfect now let's push little backwards so that we can see the characters always okay it's looking absolutely perfect and now once you play zoop superb now if you want to more space in this uh, like x-axis you can definitely increase the scale so let's increase the scale in x-axis so just double click edit summary and increase it to let's say 1200 so now we get more space. After that, if you notice the smoke got disappear once you touch the flow. So what you need to do, go to this collision tab and simply minus Z. So this is positive Z, this is minus Z. Simply uncheck this. And now once you play, you can see the smoke is not getting disappeared. It's colliding with the flow, just like this. So it's already started colliding with the flow. Also, you can simply uncheck the, all the minuses so that it will always collide with the floor like in X and Y just like so it feel like it's under the container. Also, if you want that the smoke should not disappear, it stay a little long, go to simulations tab and you can find this desperation rate. So just make it to 0.1 and let's see how it look like. Okay, so let's decrease it to a like little more like 0.01 and now you can see the smokes staying a little longer. Also, you can increase this dissipation rate intensity to let's say 0 0.02. And now you can see the more smoke over here. Like the smoke is staying a little longer and it's actually colliding with the floor. Wow, looking perfect. So let's save it and let's see how it's exactly look like in my scene. So once you play, boom, wow great all right so now after that let's add some cameras and let's work more on the smoke little later so let's work on the camera first so over here simply press the camera button so it's create a camera go back we need a more depth over here also you can little, little closer okay now simply select the camera and after that you need to universal zoom lens settings and going down you can find this minimum f stop simply decrease this to 0.8 also going upwards you can find this current focal length so increase the focal length to fit with the screen and going down little push up and that's it so now let's play okay the smoke looks perfect so the auto focus is currently so let's decrease the focus distance to this character so that it's in focus all right now make sure you need to save this always 
go to this and uh, save it and once you save you can see it's getting a reset kind of a thing so don't worry simply double click and simply click this camera so it comes here now if you notice the smokes are a little uh, you know patchy not getting high resolution so first of all go to this camera and going down you can find this aperture so simply increase the aperture so that it will also in focus now let's work on the smoke again if you notice once you increase the grid on this x axis it's already getting in lower resolution so what you need to do simply click this edit summary and you can see this resolution max axis simply increase this to let's say 500 and once you increase it to 500 just look at the smokes getting completely changed also i just decrease the dissipation rate to 0 0.2 to only one and now the smokes looks pretty perfect now press save and going here you can see the smokes looks perfect now go to sequencer and once you play, perfect. So now once you're happy with the smoke and all, let's work on our lighting scene. So for that, I'll just delete the lighting all except this exponential height. Simply select and delete. So now completely blank. So let's create a light and need a spotlight. So go to light and select the spotlight. And the spotlights will create a lot of things. So let me show you. Simply first place the spotlight top of this, simply like this. And after that, let's increase the intensity to let's say 500 and now you can see the smoke over here now simply rotate this because i want little backward light and push it little backward let's increase the radius so that it will hit on the ground some kind of like this and now let's type cast and simply cast volumetric shadows so now you get something like this is volumetric shadows all right so looks pretty perfect Let's position it properly so that it's feel completely from the backwards. Now, Control D duplicate and just drag the light over here. And I just need to change the light directions to these directions. All right. And let's move the light here. And I'll change the light color from white to completely red. Press OK. And let's uh, increase the positions. And now, once again, Control D duplicate and just reposition this lights in different directions and change the color to blue the opposite color palette now press ok and now let's see from the camera how it's exactly look like and yep this is looking perfect so yeah after this once you play you can see some kind of animations like this in this way you can create this kind of a scene inside of unreal engine using niagara simulations and i hope you guys really love this video and if yes then please do subscribe like comments and share and myself rajat see you in my next video till then keep watching keep rocking world of vfx bye bye